hello to everyone and happy Monday. Welcome to webinars. Again, I come to uh, encourage, inspire, and motivate you to be intentional about creating a better and a happier you in 2021. Um, for those of you that had a chance to tune in to the last webinars, we talked about seasons. Uh, and in those seasons, we talked about there being a start and a stop time. And seasons refer to not just, you know, weather seasons, but relationship, relationships, jobs, um, and just various aspects of life. There's a start time and a and a stop time. And we have to recognize when it's time to start something, when it's time to stop something, and when it's time to continue to do something, continue fighting for it. Uh, with that being stated, we know that now we are walking into a new season. And what we talked about last time is making the needed adjustments so that you're prepared for the new season. With that being stated, we know that springtime is coming, so the Temperatures will begin to rise, so you'll begin to make the needed adjustments to ensure that your AC is blowing cool air. You'll begin to change your filters out. You'll begin to put weed and feed down for your grass so that the weeds can go away and that your grass can be nice and pretty. So you'll begin to make the needed adjustments for that particular season. Um, this is important because we want to know, we want to ensure that we're doing the same things in our personal lives and in our relationships, we want to evaluate. We want to evaluate to ensure that we're making the needed adjustments, um, just to be healthy in life overall. With that being stated, there are three things I want to point out to you today, as you know, we use this webinar session. The first thing is adjustments, knowing when to adjust, what to adjust, and how to adjust. Number two, preparations. If nothing else, we have learned via, I'm sorry, we have learned via COVID-19 and for those of us that were in Shreveport and, and um, Dallas and Mississippi, when we had this recent snowstorm and uh, we were without water for eight days, we had to make sure that we were prepared to endure the storm. So making the needed preparations to ensure that you can, you know, sustain yourself and your lifestyle during the storms. And last but not least, enduring. Uh, with this being said, we're going through very challenging times in life, and we're just not sure what's going ahead. That's why it's most important that we are able to make the needed adjustments in life. This refers to every aspect of your life, whether it be your marriage, whether it be with parenting, whether it be with your job, whether it be with your church. People and things change. The world is continuing continuing to evolve. And so with that being said, you have to make the needed adjustments so that you can sustain that which God has given unto you. What do you mean by that? In your marriage, your husband and your wife may change some things. They may change. Just because they change doesn't mean that you have to get a divorce. You may need to adjust what you were once used to, to ensure that your marriage can continue, to con to ensure that both people can be happy. Uh, also, making preparations. We know that as we get older, things change. Our eyesight may change. Our ears, our, uh, ears, hearing may change. Our taste buds may change. So you need to make the needed preparations, you know, to ensure that as you're adjusting things, that you're prepared to endure the storm. Every aspect of your life. Insurance, you have enough food because we're not sure when, you know, there'll be another famine. We're not sure when, you know, um, would there be another ice storm. So we don't want to wait to the very last minute to go shopping. We want to make sure that we're making preparations to endure just in case there's a hard time. And once hard times do hit, we want to make sure that we are able to endure. And enduring means, you know, just being able to sustain a positive mindset to to ensure that you're able to endure the pain because there the sun will shine again after the rain. That means that may mean you may, you may have to, you know, reestablish your relationship. You may have to redefine your faith. You may have to go back, you know, to the starting ball to start over again because there are some things that now I know a little bit different that I didn't know before. So maybe I was doing it wrong. So to endure, endure means making the needed adjustments, you know, 
making the needed preparation so that I can endure the storm. Again, if there's no storm, there's no need to make adjustments and or preparations. If the season doesn't change, there's no need to make no adjustments and or preparations. So because we, we're not sure what tomorrow may hold, we need to be able to adjust our thinking. We need to be able to adjust how we're doing things. We need to be able to prepare so that we can endure whatever tomorrow will bring. Once again, I want you to be intentional about creating a better you. I want you to make the needed adjustments, make the needed preparations, and be able to endure whatever may come your way. Know this, if God brings you to it, he'll most certainly bring you through it. But with that being stated, sometimes we have to step back because we fight not against flesh and bl blood, but against principalities and darkness. So that you have to make sure that you're able to endure whatever whatever storms you're going through. And know that you're not fighting against d Webb, but you're not fighting against your spouse. You're fighting against those spirits that's trying to come in and bring about, you know, divisions. You guys be uh, blessed. You have just been webinized.